We're back. We're going to do third attack. This is when you're kind of dealing with a new situation because he, he gives you a different reaction. So the flow is still the same. We tried, we go, we went for the scissor sweep, didn't work. We went for the Shaolin man, and he gives us this reaction that we're gonna deal with right now. So load him up, try to go, boom, it's not working. Switch, but then he drops his weight. Like as I bring him, as I bring him around for the Shaolin, he doesn't let me load him all the way to the all the way across. He drops his weight, shoots his elbow into my armpit. And now I'm stuck in a reverse half guard, right? In this position, look, it's not the end of the world, but I have one concern. Let's switch around real quick. So the concern I have is with my leg right. So right now, when my leg's open, it's very easy for me to kick out. And even if I do like a you know, figure four here, it's very easy for him still to kick out. Right? So like the first concern I have is how can I make this leg configuration, this, this entrapment of his leg stronger? And the way you do that is bring his leg over his knee. Like, like it's almost like I'm trying to put my knee on his on his hip. Like it's all I'm I'm, gonna, I'm exaggerating that motion. Right? And then I'm, I'm like clamping down as I kick up. Lock the figure four that way. Okay? This means that when he tries to you know, push through the lock, he tries to like clear it, it's a lot harder. And to make it even stronger, what I want to do is almost get like a lockdown in this situation. So like kicking his leg high and come around under, and then you pull his leg out and go under. And then pinch your knees together. So now when he tries to like clear it, you're kind of reinforcing that structure and it keeps you in the play longer. Okay, so let's switch back. That's one important detail. I really want you to get it. So go into the position. Go back. So like a bit direction and switch. And now second thing is, like I have to, I don't want him to crowd me too much. So right now he's already high on me. So I have to create some frame and move him down. Like even some, like it doesn't matter how much separation I get as long as I get some of it. And then I'm gonna reinforce that that frame, which is this hand, the closest, the one that's closest to his head, comes down, grabs the belt, and then my elbow locks down on his bottom shoulder. So now when he tries to push back into me, there's something making it hard. Right? There's a structure there. There's a a frame, a wall, an obstacle. Now, from here, like my bottom leg, which you cannot see at this moment, with my right leg. It's going to like, I'm turned here and kind of roll to my right shoulder. So here, keep an elbow a little tight, bridging off the right leg, rolling. And then as I roll, I want this elbow to come under me. Because that's going to give me the clearance to finish this motion. So from here, I keep the belt, I look, and I drop my hip forward. Like hips down, heavy. Because now when he tries to like, you know, he tries to get back to position, it's hard. And from here, it's really easy for me to clear out and get my pass. So again, switch from the switch angle, do it from the side. So the starting position right now. So leg configuration switch, frame, reinforce. Turn to your side, look away, and kind of bridge off of this bottom leg. I wonder. Now, right here, hip, look, look high, drop the hip in. Come up. Clear. Clear. Turn from the back now. Reinforce, bridge, 
I'll bond it. Right through the pack. Right off the feet. This is the second piece in that, that sequence. These are all things that, man, you have to work. Um, biggest challenge is understanding, or well, this challenge I've seen people run into, understanding how to bridge off that one leg. With a leg configuration like this, you have to bridge, like, so you turn it up, and you kind of bridge. Like, if you can get this foot to the ground, it's ideal, but like, man, you just have to be able to bridge here. Bring that elbow under. So the hip forward. The hip forward is very important too. So hopefully that's understandable. You can kind of pick out the details. To get good at it, you want to work it. Like with everything. You become good at what you work on, what you focus on. All right?